Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Gary Grigsby's War in the West with Miller Cucumber. Okay, so we are about to end the um, the first turn, basically. Let's have a look. What else can we still do? We've got a British Armored Corps that can still move. Oh my. Uh, it's sort of on its own in here, it looks like. We could move it forward. Uh, unfortunately, we can't really move it into any other position than this. Uh, nah, you know what? No, we'll do that. We'll move them forward. What the hell? Why the hell not? There we go. Get these guys as well. There we go. And get these guys. Ah, uh, these guys are no longer able to move. That's fine. So, we now have how much... Oh, how much power? Not an awful lot. I think... We're pretty much... Yeah, we've got 60 attack power, which will not kill any of these units. They're dug in fairly well. So we're probably not going to be able to do anything here at this time. Can we... Risk this again? I think we can. That's... Let's see. Strength. That's 12 versus 9. Who knows? Mm, no. The defending forces held, and we lost quite a few men and guns and airplanes there. That's totally not what I wanted. <laughs> to be perfectly clear with you, <laughs> not what we wanted at all. Oh, wait a minute. We've got... Is that these guys are like four, strength 14. We could technically move them up. Wait a minute. What's down here? These all headquarter units. Oh, we've got an armored core here. The Polish. We haven't moved them yet. We probably should. Um, not sure where they would be going. Oh my, are they are they belonging to this section here? Apparently so. I guess. I guess we should roll up the Polish up the um, road here. Uh, not the whole freaking uh, HQ thing, you morons. Yeah, okay, let's put them in here so that at least somebody gets, you know, supplied. There we are. We'll do it like this. We'll bring in supplies like this. That that will do, I guess. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's that. Uh, what else are we going to do? Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. So, yeah, Italy, that battle's raging. We're prepping for war here in Britain. And those units are all sort of... Ready to rock. We'll leave that that way. I guess we're going to end the turn. See what happens. I don't know if we... Um, should be doing anything else right now. Not the invasion, that's for sure. The weather is just not good enough. I don't want my half my, my force to sink off the British coast. That would be bad. So, let's go for the next phase. And Where is the button for that? I forget. I'm sorry, I haven't played in a few days. Uh, there is a button for that, I'm sure. I'm 100... Ah, oh, here it is, F12, of course. And this turn. Yes. Alright, so the uh, AI is going to do stuff. Upgrading ground elements. Running stuff around. Freight movement, city to city. Moving from pools. It's going to do a lot of movement for economy and uh, logistics. That's what it's thinking about right now. What I'm thinking about now is dining in Rome. Dining in Rome with Patton. That would be fantastic. Hopefully the game will let me do that at some point. Yeah, it, this takes a while. So, I hope you guys are enjoying the series up to this point. I certainly am. Ah, here we go. AI almost done. HQ to units. High priority supplies. Okay. I'm certainly, yeah, I'm feeling up confident that this will be an interesting series. For sure. Here we go. And... Boom. And now they're doing all the battles, the sorties, air... Oh, we've got the air uh, directive things going. 
for the Germans. Okay, they're falling back on that line. I'm not sure what they're doing, but they're going to be trying to... But they just pull back from that line completely. AI, what the hell? Okay, we got the logistics phase for ourselves. I'm going to see what they did. I think they fell back. Are they going to give up Rome? What the hell? No way. That would be an interesting move on the AI's part. I mean... I am not going to complain about it. We'll capture Rome. It's fine by me. I'm okay. I'm cool with that. Mm, okay. Alright. So... Permanent losses. Uh, the Germans lost a lot of vehicles, looks like. Specifically these Stug 3Gs. They lost 17. Not doing anything. 12 martyrs. 39 of their flak uh, trucks. That's a lot. 76 of these rifle squads were lost. Okay, oh, these are the permanent losses. These are actually losses in the, per in the turn. So these are the permanent losses currently. Okay, support, yeah. Whoa, holy vehicles. 1,400 vehicles just last turn and 11,000 vehicles over total of this campaign, apparently. Interesting. Here, another vehicle for us. Is that, is that us? Yes, American vehicles. 5,000 vehicles. So half, half of what the Germans have lost. I'm going to say okay. All right, so this is the... Um, the, the tactical air directive thing I am gonna just start the air orders I'm just gonna leave it at default as it was before it looks like the weather cleared which is nice that's gonna make our air tactical bombing and such much more effective I suspect and um, I'm gonna just let that run and while it runs, I will not be recording. I'm going to show you the first few seconds and just cut off after that. It could, takes a long time. You're going to see a lot of stuff when it's done. Oh, whoops. No, I wanted to um, just go execute the air directives. That's fine. Yes. Here we go. So I'm just going to show you a couple of seconds of this. This goes very, very quickly, but there's a lot of sorties. Bombing people and stuff. There we go. So this is going to take a while. Look, we're at 20, almost 3,000 sorties. And look at this bar. It's almost not filled in the corner here on the right. So, yeah. This is going to take a while. I'm going to cut the video here and be back with you in a bit. Right. So, that takes care of that. Um, we had 43,000 and a half sorties. Uh, we lost 482 aircraft and 1918 were damaged. Enemy aircraft lost 99, damaged 257. So that's not the odds we were looking for. Though, we um, we did alright with uh, regards to um, bombing ground targets and photograph photography with of the uh, of the enemy. So we've got some info out of that. That's that's pretty valuable, I suppose. As you can see, the channel is now clear. We could theoretically, at least, uh, mount our attack if we wanted to right now. Uh, I'm going to look at the preparedness. It's still at 90. It's probably not going to get any higher, is what I'm thinking. Um, the air is clear, humid. I'm not sure what kind of weather we're going to get. I'm really not quite sure what we're going to get. So I'm going to go with Italy first. I'm going to play with Italy first. And then you guys can tell me whether or not it's a good idea to actually move in. I am not sure. Okay, these guys have left behind. I don't know why they have. And we are actually able to advance on Rome. So I guess the Free French have that honor. That's what I'm thinking here. Um, we have a port here at Italy. We have the option to move up with uh, with troops. Um, let's see, we've got the first armored divi division of the Americans here. And that's British troops. I guess we'll have the British position themselves here in at the Rome thing. Uh, let's see, no, the British. The first British infantry division. 
8th British Army. Quite. These two lads are going to liberate Rome. Rome Depot is captured. Super duper. We got it, boys. We have it. Rome is ours, I say. Wonderful news. We've got our tanks here. And I suppose we should move up their flank. They have a somewhat weak flank. They have a very weak unit there, though. This looks ripe for the picking. Okay, the Cerveti depot is captured and the Casale depot is cap captured. Very well done, gentlemen. Very well done. Okay, so these Nisei troops, I'm going to move them back in here, I guess, to um, sort of secure that area. There we go. We can just do that. They're good at that. We've got engineers here. We've got special service forces of the United States, which will be going up here take that position they do need a little bit of reinforcements by I guess the 36th these are the 10th and 20th infantry divisions I'll march them up there there we go they'll hold that line for the time being um, oh hopefully I guess uh, we could have let's see you guys also move up and Take that position. There we go. And I suppose... Go up here. Alright. Those are engineers. They're doing their job. We're not going to mess with those. 45th U.S. Infantry Division of the 6th U.S. Corps. I'm going to select those. I'd like to see... 85th U.S. Infantry Division, 88th U.S. and the 2nd Corps. This is all 2nd Corps. This is 6. And this is 5th U.S. Army, Special Forces, and 6th. So basically the 6th are on the left flank. I want to keep them somewhat in one piece. So this is the 2nd Corps HQ. We're going to move them up. There we are. And then we have these 6th uh, Corps units. And I want them to join their, their friends over here. Very good. Very well done. Gentlemen. You are to secure our flank with the 6th Corps. There we go. And we've got those special forces there as well. Holding the line. They're sort of going to be our flank guard. As far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? We should have more... Technically, we should have more second core units somewhere out here. The second core headquarters, that's great. Fifth U.S. Army headquarters, that's also great. I, I suppose we'll move them out of town in here. There we go, like this. We'll have some sort of uh, bulge there. And we're going to have the Free French, I guess, uh, try and take the area here. West or east of uh, Marsigliana. Free French, Moroccans, Algerians, they can move into this area and hold it, hopefully. And their headquarter units. And we have the Fr Free French Motorized Corps. We'll send them, I guess we'll send them along with the Algerians, if we can. There, they've made a nice crossing there, that's perfect. Now for the rest of that line. Rada. Uh, oh, we've got the 5th US Army, a unit of the 5th US Army here, so I guess we'll move them up here. They'll be helping out at that particular thing uh, yeah let's move you up here try and make a little bit of a headquarters here just outside of Rome there we go we can march everyone up now this these are 
the 24th Guards Infantry. Move these tanks with the French. Could have some armored supports as well. Keep these tanks in reserve. There's still this unit to contend with, so we do need to keep that in mind. Obviously, we can't go where we please if we don't take that unit out. Um, and the Germans are looking to create a position that will certainly threaten our flank. I'm, I'm looking at that right now. I'm thinking, yeah, that's probably what they're doing. That's what I'd be doing, honestly. Alright, so these Canadians, yeah, they're not going to mess with these Germans. Not from this position. Well, damn it. We can't go into this hex because apparently it's terrain that we cannot uh, focus on. So that's a thing. But then again, so can't the enemy. That's almost for certain. So I'm going to just cut these guys off. It's as simple as that. Can't make it much simpler than that. Okay, the um, those Polish, I want them to cover those units there we are Polish are gonna enclose them as far as possible and we'll have this armor completely cut them off so they're done they won't be going anywhere anytime soon is what I'm thinking oh, we've got uh, the Polish armored brigade here so I suppose we should should send up, yeah. Okay, yeah. We do have a little bit of a gap here now. I don't like that much, but that's the way it's got to be. Uh, and then we have these motorized units. This 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 line is unintentionally badly defended. <laughs> Can we still move you? No. Can we still move you? No. Can we still move you? No. Nobody's capable of moving. Oh wait, these British armors. We can move them back here. It's fine. It's, they can hold the line there. That's that's okay. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. What is this with French not being able to defend themselves? What is this devilry? I say, Passe, what is going on? Okay, are these are motorized units. I think. Yeah, they are. Um, don't want to waste them. So I guess what we'll do, providing we can, is march them up somehow. I'm not sure if we can. Can we? Doesn't look like it. Um, okay. Okay, you guys, this is this has just got to be that way. We'll have a spearhead unit. And this unit as well. To uh, take that position. I want my line to be complete. For obvious reasons. Uh, we could try and punch our way through this. Possibly. If we have the armor to do it. We have some uh, Italians who are very eager to fight. Possibly not the uh, best unit to do it. There we are. I guess we could move down with one of these units. They have, wow, they've got some real good defense stats. We want to keep it that way. Alright. Well, technically, let's see. Six, seven, two... Hmm. I'm not saying we're in bad shape, but this would be interesting. Well, we don't have that kind of strength. We can't break through here. This, there's no way I'm going to build up my strength to a point where I can do that. So, um, not quite sure how to do that in this particular situation. So we won't. Uh, these guys have 96 defense. 
That's a, a dug in position if there ever was one. Alright, you, the free French. Why can you not bunch up? Is there a problem, Commander? <laughs> These guys though, they, they are weak. I am tempted. Can we not select all of these? No. Nope, there's no way. Okay, I was hoping that we could mount an attack from here onto this weakened unit, but apparently we are not going to be able to. Um, what about these guys? We could do a quick attack, see if we can push them out. Okay. Yeah, the, the Reserve Infantry Division retreated. Okay, we lost six tanks. They didn't have any tanks. They lost some guns and some guys, and we made them retreat. I'd say that's pretty good pretty good stuff right there. Um, okay, maybe we can take both of these and mount an attack on these guys. No, no way. There's no... There is a way. There's always a way. Defending forces were scouted. It, they cost us a lot of tanks. We took out some of their tanks though. They were quite rare already. They have plenty of guns though meeting us. And they didn't lose too many men. So these expeditionary French forces under Juin did alright. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But von Zenger und Ethelin. Ja. Schnitzel. Pumpernickel. We we really did weaken them quite a bit. They have defense three now. So if we were to do this again, they have a pretty darn good defense value. It looks like. I thought they had a, had a. Am I looking at the wrong value again? Is that is that that again? Am I supposed to look at the? How did you? There was a way to show the actual defense value. That might actually be movement and not defense. Ugh. I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, maybe I can see it in the... Uh, maybe I'm looking at the, whole, the wrong values again. I've, I've had that before. In the, in the uh, War in the East series. I had that for quite some time. Let's see. Uh, zoom map out. Zoom map in. Toggle unit in counter info. Defense garrison. Ah! There we go. So we select this. And press Z. And then the first number becomes what? That's still not very clear, is it? Numeral name. Move defense garrison values. Oh, it's still, it is their defense counter. What the hell? Is this their move counter? Are we looking at the... So technically we would win against these guys if we were to assault them. Or these guys. With five or six that would be... Let's see what go what, what, what happens. Let's see what happens. Just for the funsies. We can't attack them. They can't. They simply won't. Alright, maybe we can push these guys out of town. Defending forces held. Uh, okay, combat value 105, 26 to 16. No, I'm, I'm still pretty sure. Oh, what button was that? There was a button to do this. Well, anyway, I'll figure it out at some point. It doesn't really matter. Um, we lost that fight. <laughs> we didn't actually gain anything by doing that. But that's okay, you know. 
So we're going through the mountains here, which is kind of stupid with you, with these tanks. We shouldn't do that, I, I guess. It's a bad idea. Also, we have this little situation over here with the uh, friendly neighborhood idiots still sitting there on the mountain. And hopefully they'll drop defense value-wise. Um, okay. I'm not sure. We'll see. I... Do they have defense one? Does it say? Let's see. Hex isolated. So we know they're isolated. And they've got 1 slash 67. Yes, I know. Still doesn't say much. Can we double click it? Right click it? I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I don't know. Well, anyway... I I I'm gonna I'm gonna read up on that because I want to know. I really do. Oh look! Oh, oh my goodness! We've uh, got some uh, second British parachute group guys here. What are they doing here? They need to be on a the train. They need to go like up here. Help these uh, these young men here at uh, Pescara out. That's what they need to do. Yeah. Chuka 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 chuka. There we go. Get off the train. All right. Nice. Can they still move? They can. We will have them move. No, not these guys. These guys. Oh, they can't. Okay, never mind it. All right. Well, that being said, I think I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna figure out how the defense value thing works, and then um, sort of tell you guys in the next video if I uh, don't get a comment for of it about it first. But I'm guessing that this second value really is their defense value. I'm, I mean, in these mountains, they they those defense values go to ridiculous heights, and this guy definitely, you know, he may be isolated and annoying, but yeah. He's probably in pretty good shape, is what I'm thinking. Anyway, it's a Jaeger division as well. Wow, okay. Hmm. Um, so yeah, uh, please join me next time as we try to gain more ground in Italy. And I guess we'll prep for landing. Uh, it's a little early, but uh, the weather looks uh, relatively okay. We could go for a weather report, if I recall correctly, that is also in the game. And um, yeah, consider taking these beaches right here so that'll be next time thank you all for joining me please leave a like and or comment subscribe if you haven't done so already and see you all then